Things are picking up. Uh, walk. She said 1903, right? Wright Brothers, that's right. That's 1902. Here's 1903. Gotcha. I'm not going to call out. We're just going to go right in. What are you talking about? Call out my ass. Rain. This music sounds like uh, Max Payne esque. Ugh. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's oh, gotta be oh, you something think? about his witch here. The fuck was that? It just fell right in front of me. I can't walk over there. Okay, now I can walk over there. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I guess... Or, uh, what's his name? Bigby didn't have anything uh, smart to say about the portrait. Let's, I can't pick up that book, apparently. So let's go over this way. Camera! Thank you. Ooh, what's there? This hasn't been used in years. God, he used to teach in the old days. Yeah, this is definitely my, uh, Max Payne-esque. What's in the desk? Hmm. Yeah, what's in the envelope? Money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Let's confiscate the money. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <laughs> Oh, a key. Might be useful. Work with me. Am I going? Am I exiting? No. This, this camera doesn't want to work with me. I guess so. Uh, there's no clues right where I want to go. Ooh, what's in that? Oh, well, apparently nothing. Really? <laughs> uh, let's take one last sweep of the place and then I think I'll uh, leave. I think that's basically it, right? I can't go into any more doors, can I? Hopefully that's everything I needed, because I'm going to leave. If you see anything, you know. Oh. Kick it down. Okay, okay. maybe. Well, there's got to be an easier way. <laughs> okay, that was kind of stupid. Grab him! Oh, oh. <gasps> Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. Hmm. This weather, right? Jesus Christ. A little damp, I guess. But you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like. But before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. 
I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done, I don't see any plans. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. You got me. Just. Yeah. This is really fucking necessary. Yes. Start talking, Jack. Okay. Okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. That you sounds heard? like it. I have my sources, okay? Tell me. see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this. What shit. sources? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. You really want me to punch you. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Yeah. Oh. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Bastard. I should throw him off the balcony. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. What should I do? You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... Go on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information yeah. comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under Punch the him. Oh, this is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match, either. <laughs> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... uh it was just lovely. What's in the... Open the bag. Hang on a second. Yeah. Oh, come on. Huh. Glamour tube. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Mmm, smart ass. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Find any more of these? Uh, no. And then give them to me. What? You know what? Hand them over. <laughs> yeah. That it? Pick me. Yeah. Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on. Is that right? But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. 
Green has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think yeah. this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Yeah. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. That's where Sinbad Where do you want to go? Yeah, Bluebeard. We don't have much time. Uh, let's go to... I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. You go to the bar. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Tweedle Brothers office, the Bronx. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt in, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Yeah. Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, he... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What a fucking asshole. Well, I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. After what? After what? What did you say? Was he telling the truth? Yes. He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. Yeah. <sighs> don't worry about it, flycatcher. Oh, I'm going to get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way, told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. He can I'll work for us. Clean up. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. So, I should just went to the trip trap. Puberty, yes.